Hi there, and welcome to Today I Learned About, the show where we learn how getting drunk is awesome, and it also helps resolve any arguments you have about birds. The Irish are famous for three things, leprechauns, potatoes, and the drink. Beer in this case, more specifically, Guinness. Our story starts in Dublin, Ireland, November 10th, 1951. Sir Hugh Beaver, probably nicknamed Huge Beaver, so that's what we're going to go with. Anyways, Huge Beaver was the manager of the Guinness Breweries. He was out on the hunt when he missed a shot at a golden plover. This started the most British argument ever of which was the fastest game bird in the world, the golden plover or a red grouse. The answer for the other person in the world who actually might care is the golden plover. Back in those days, drunken arguments about birds wasn't solved as easily as just pulling out your phone and asking Google. No, you need to get into your car, drunk drive to the library, then get a librarian and multiple books involved, or you capture a couple birds and make them race. Either way, it wasn't easy. So Huge Beaver's like, hey, instead of making stupid birds race, let's just make a book with everything fast, big, hungry, and all that just to solve every debate ever. We'll name it after our beer because it's the thickest in the world. Okay, write that down. Write that down. We start now. Okay, next thing. Watch how far I can pee. Mark this down too. Guinness was a genius of genuine greatness. In 1955, the first 198-page edition was published in England, and it was a huge hit. Now it is sold in 37 languages and has sold over 143 million copies, becoming the world's best-selling copyright book ever. And probably the only place in the world when you're trying to set a record, you have to specify whether you are doing the most consecutive rope skips with or without a dog, and specifically that dog's breed. Some records are amazing, some are gross, others are just hard to believe. Like Monsieur Moshtu, the name meaning Mr. Eat It All. And that's exactly what he did. He ate metal, he ate glass, he ate whatever. Over a 50 year span, his diet included 18 bikes, 15 supermarket trolleys, 7 TVs, 6 chandeliers, 2 beds, a pair of skis, and to top it off, a low calorie Cessna light aircraft. Oh, and a computer. He is said to have proven the only example in history of a coffin, handles and all, ending up inside a man. This guy's turds are so heavy metal, even Satan needs to bow down. You put the world's tallest man and the world's shortest man side by side, it's hard to believe that they are the same species. Tallest man, Robert Wallow, was 8 feet 11.1 inches. He was 5 foot 4 inches by the age of 5. The world's oldest person to ever live was a woman named Jean Clamet. She passed away at the age of 122 years old. In an interview asking what her secret to long life was, she was quoted as saying, Kill me! The most dice stacked on a paw, 11 is the record. Oldest performing female trapeze artist at 84 years old. I did a somersault the other day and had the biggest head rush and almost pooped my pants. Most sausages produced in one minute, 78, ladies. Most toothpicks in a beard, 3,500. What can't a beard do? Feel like this got started late one night after the bar at a Denny's. It only stopped when they kicked him out because he had taken all the toothpicks off of every table. Largest hula hoop ever spun by a female, 17 feet and a quarter inch. Spinning hula hoops as an adult should have been on my red flag video. Furthest somebody's ever sprinted while on fire, 100 meters. Previously, the record was held by Richard Pryor, who had set himself on fire after free base and coke in 1980. Bernie Barker, the oldest male stripper. This dude got out of real estate at 60 years old to start a full-time career, bouncing his leathery beanbag around for the ladies. Now put your hands together and give it up for the granddaddy of all strippers. No, seriously, he's the grandfather of eight. Turn down that infernal music. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hold your horses. Damn kids these days can't wait five minutes for a good flapjack. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. What was I doing? What was I doing? Hmm. Unfortunately, he died at 66 due to a tragic snatch-related drowning. 
Now you know everything there is to know about getting drunk and making something of your life. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Everybody knows it's all about internet karma. So long and stay frosty. Thank you.